Hello, welcome to this episode of Mommy C Star. I'm out front today and I'm going to be working on this portion of my San Gabriel Mountains painting and Mount Wilson over here. And I've been watching some landscape tutorials on YouTube, which are great. So I've been learning a lot and I'm going to work on this some more based on some of that knowledge. I like the, how flowing and free it is, so I don't want to change too much, especially in the front. But I'm going to show you what I learned about making uh, depth in landscape painting. So let's get started. So when I woke up this morning, it was a bit hazy. Um, the mountains were covered with gray clouds. and I. And I could still see that it's still a bit hazy out. So it's a different day than yesterday. So I'm not going to change it to make it exactly like it is today. But I am going to lighten up some of the sky around the mountains. And I'm starting with the sky, which is farthest back. And I'll work forward again. So I just keep adding layers to this painting. And as I learn things, I just keep keep painting because I, I see this scene and I always see new things. Something I noticed when I was looking at this yesterday afternoon and this morning was that the colors are all kind of the same depth. They're dark here, dark here, and so it it doesn't give as much dimension as I would like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lighten up the mountains that are farthest back. And then I want to work on some of the texture to make it look like I've got some trees in the mountains. And I don't mind that it looks a little hazy. So I'm allowing that sky to look like that. I'm using a metallic white. I really like it. It's from Artist Law, metallic white. And um, it just gives a, a little bit softer look than the titanium white, which is pretty stark unless you mix it with something. So that's one of my secret ingredients. My other secret ingredient is this nice yellowish color. It's called Naples Yellow. Oh, no, I really like it for highlights in the sky and the mountains. I use it for clouds sometimes, and then obviously here. So I'm not going to work too much on the on the sky over here. Just I just want to work on it where I'm going to be focusing because. I want to make sure that the layers are appropriate. Alright. So, what I really liked on this, this YouTube video that I saw, um, he suggested that you make the colors a little bit less saturated, more muted in the background. So I'm mixing the Naples yellow with the ultramarine blue. And I'm going to put that on here. Oh, this pink. texture show through. I definitely want it to be a whole lot lighter because this 
This part is farther back. side of the mountain is a little more blue. Well, I could see what I was seeing here, but it's a different shape than what I captured yesterday. So I'm going to correct the shape of the hills a little bit here. It actually has a a bit of mountain that goes even farther back and this is important because a solar telescope in Mount Wilson could be seen right here so I want this little area to be a little more accurate because this is very historic this they this is the mountain where many famous famous scientists physicists cosmologists did their work. Albert Einstein did his work up here, some of it. And I don't know the name of the scientist, actually a woman scientist that used this solar telescope to prove just how vast the universe is. Um, gave us our first concept of just the infinite space and enormity of the universe. You should use that measuring light from stars using this solar telescope. I may not be getting all the facts just right. So I'm not. <laughs> I'm an artist, not a, an astronomer, but I have an interest in science. Definitely. Science is another way of looking at truth. So, this mountain is very important to me. My husband and I visited Mount Wilson on our first anniversary. Uh, I was pregnant with that little girl you hear. <laughs> In the background, she was playing on her, playing on her trampoline now. And that's where I wanted to go for our anniversary, Mount Wilson. So that's this place. So you see how I'm adding a lot more um, light colors? Because I really want it to look like it's farther back. And this is I want to leave some of this very dark still because yesterday we had more clouds and so they left some shadows on the mountains. Now this one comes in front so that could be dark. This is ultramarine blue. too much. The whole point of this video is I want to show you how much more dramatic you can make mountains and landscapes by making a gradation of the colors from white in the background to darker in the front. The hardest thing for me, and maybe I'll watch some more videos and learn this, but the hardest thing for me is showing the that these are granite mountains. They have like, um, let's go down a little bit more like that. They have these little rocks that peek through, and whenever I add them, they just look like little splotches. <laughs> so, my best painting is usually Watches, but I want to figure out how to do that someday. I'm going to lighten this up some more. The Native Americans used to call this mountain range the Great Blue Wall. It always looks blue when the sun is shining on it. And the reason for that, I learned also on this other video, is because the blue 
wavelength travels the farthest. Yes, I like how that's looking. Okay, I'm going to add the solar telescope. It has a little piece like this and then a little piece like this. And you know, so small on here, that solar telescope is a hundred feet tall. Just give you an idea of how, how enormous these mountains are. See, what I, what I'm telling you, it looks like splotches. So yeah, landscape painting, it's always more to learn. But it's like, YouTube is such a great place for giving yourself an art education. It's uh, Naples yellow, ultramarine blue, and my metallic, my metallic white. And I'm gonna work on this texture here. some comments let me know what do you think of these new additions that work adding some of this lighter color to give this something a bit more depth. I would definitely love to to read your comments. are the pine trees. The shadows in the pine trees are blue, dark blue. I was thinking about this last night as I was just thinking, how can I make it look like trees on the whole mountain? And watched that video and I saw he was adding some really nice texture. The blue gives it like the shadow for the for the trees and then this muted blue is the light on the other side of the trees. So as you come forward, the, the light um, will get darker, the colors will get darker, and that will make it the mountains come forward. I'm not too crazy about this green here, because I think it's still too far away from green. I want this to look like really detailed. I don't want it to look like a mural or like I had to paint it really fast. I've had this in my garage, in my backyard um, for a few years now. Got this panel from 